Hey guys, Adam Fennig here, Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. You've seen a lot of my rate controller videos, whether it's a John Deere rate controller or a Raven 450. Today, we're gonna to talk about the MicroTrack SprayMate Plus, the ins and outs of that, what it can do, and how to program it. All right, so here is the SprayMate Plus. This is a very handy rate controller that I use a lot on planners, whether it's for in furrow applications or two by two. Um, I really like using these for electric motors. They've got uh, what they call an electric motor driver. It's basically a PWM that you hook up to an electric pump and it will allow that electric pump to then be speed compensated. Basically, as you speed up and slow down, this rate controller will give or take away amperage to increase and decrease your flow to always match your total gallons per minute. Now, like all rate controllers, like the Raven 450 and several others, this SprayMate Plus is basically a calculator. It is taking your speed, inputting that with your section width and your target gallon per minute requirement, and it is constantly adjusting many times per second as you drive through the field to make sure that you're always putting on the correct rates. Very nice, simple, easy to use. I like how they use a lot of weather pack connections. Um, just a really good rate controller all around. It can be set up to be fairly sophisticated. Uh, you know, we can put a whisker switch on here so that when you raise and lower your planner or your side rest bar that it automatically triggers. Or we can set it up manual. You know, there's, you can just simply toggle this on and off. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I find many, many avenues uh, to use this SprayMate Plus on. So let's dig into it. I've got this thing powered up here on the bench. And uh, of course, your main power on and off is right here. And these green, uh, basically, layers right here is what I would call the front side. And then these words over here, these settings are what I would consider your back side or your calibration page. So to get there, you simply press and hold the cow. And now you can see my turn dial toggle here. I am not on volume. I am on flow cow because I've got this cow button pushed and my red cow light lit up. So basically what it's telling me right now that my flow cow is 1576. I've got a micro track flow meter here and it's got a tag on it that tells me my flow cow number right there, micro track liquid cow 465.6. So I need to drop this down using my up and down arrow to 465.6. And basically you will just toggle this until you get to where you're going. So now my minimum flow, that's at 0.5. I'm gonna leave that there. My adjust rate uh, so this is every time I hit the plus or minus button when I'm going through the field, it will adjust my rate one gallon. Leave that there. My target rate, I'm going to be running five gallons in this scenario. Okay, so I'm done with this entire left side. I've got it set up. Let's go over here to the top of this other side. It's asking me for my width cow. Now you can see this little number one here. There are three sections here. So it wants my width cow in inches for every single boom. So if you have a two section planter or sprayer or whatever you're running, you're only gonna do uh, number one and number two. So let's say that my number one is 220 and I hit the cow button to get over to number two, and let's say my number two, my other boom is 255, and I don't have a three, so my three zero, I can toggle that one off as well. So I've got my widths in there in inches. Speed cow, it says 0 .8, 0 
That is if you are using a MicroTrack Astro speed sensor, like what you see there. I highly recommend those. I really like them. You don't even have to put them on the cab of your tractor, just or on top of the tractor, just let them hang out in the cab with you. But this cheat sheet tells me right here that for a micro track, my speed cow is 0.189. So there we go, we're good to go. Control speed, we're not gonna mess with that. It's very rare that I mess with that. It's if we feel like we need to fine tune our control valve. Test speed, I always make this the final step because it allows us to test everything. So what we'll do is we will put this test speed at 2.5, you can make that whatever you want. And if you turn it on and go over here to rate, it's telling me that I'm not getting any flow response from my flow meter. Well, of course, that's because I don't have it all plugged in. Um, but this is a good way to check and see if you just did everything correctly. You punch in a test speed, turn it to run, and when you check your rate, if everything's working, this rate should match the target rate number we put in there. For example, we entered five, this rate would show five, but instead it's saying no flow because of course it's not getting a feedback response from the flow meter. So very simple. Um, now to save these settings and get out of the calibration page, simply go back up here and I usually turn it to rate when I'm running through the field so I can see what rate I have. And of course it says that I'm not getting any rate because I don't have any speed punched in there. So that's what it will say. Now, another thing that you could also do is sometimes I'll run it on speed when I'm driving through the field so that I can confirm that my speed sensor is matching that of the tractor. And then I'll toggle it up to run and if you have a whisker switch in line, you will just leave it on run and the whisker switch will cut this ray controller on and off. As you're manually going through the field, you can toggle your sections on and off to turn on and off those sections. Very simple, easy to use ray controller. Again, I love them for in furrow projects, anything that takes an electric pump. We can control hydraulic pumps uh, many other pumps as well, um, but I use them very heavily on the electric motor driver systems using a seven gallon or five gallon a minute pump. So that's what we're doing today, talking the MicroTrack SprayMate Plus rate controller, and tune in for more MicroTrack videos.